Okay, let's take a look at another Acorn soft game next, Freefall. So, you have to control the crewman so that he survives as long as possible and destroys as many alphoids as he can. The alphoids die when they are punched, kicked, or rammed, or when a bomb explodes near them, or they are caught in the fire breathed by the lobstoids and the waspoids. Sensing a pattern here. You have some control over the bombs since you can catch them by maneuvering the crewman so that one hand passes near a bomb while holding the B key down. Catch them. You can then carry the bomb around and when you throw it, it will automatically prime itself. It is safe to hold bombs while they are primed, but not safe to catch them while they are in this state. Okay. On the left of the screen, the rotation rate of the station is displayed and the monitor displays a trace of the crewman's heartbeat. Uh, on the right of the screen, his remaining air supply is displayed. The crewman can be maneuvered around the space station by means of the air jets attached to his suit. The rear air jet accelerates him forward, the left and right rotate him. Uh, provide reverse thrust when operated simultaneously. Crewman's limbs may be moved so as to push off from walls or to punish and kick the aliens. Ooh, okay. FV. Okay, this is going to be. I wonder if this is still going to map well. FV, JN. Left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. I guess it does work. D and K. Air jet, right air jet, space rear air jet, or use joystick. Joystick would be easier. Um, B grab bomb, which is in the middle. Okay, yeah, I seem to remember this being a tough game. All right, let's try it. Okay, so that rotates me. Uh, what was it? Space. Ah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna punch with all my hands. Cause it's very hard to work out which is uh Was that on the right hand side? That thing must be a bomb. Well, that's my energy. Maybe that's a good reason not to... Not to try and punch with all of my... I died? How did I die? I don't know what I did. Did I run out of energy or something? Does that kill me? I guess those things that are being those things are shooting. Are probably bad for my health. Not a bomb? Is a bomb. How do I throw it? I uh, like that, but Ooh. God, this is very tricky. Oh that bomb's gonna blow up. I need to get away from it. Stuck on the wall. Oh, I can put, push off from the wall. Okay, let's grab that bomb maybe. No, not close enough. Oh, he's throwing it at me. Damn, okay. I think 
just drifting around here is probably... Mm, I do actually need to be trying to steer towards things. I'll grab the bomb. God, this is so... It's hard. Okay, punched one. Nice. Punch, punch, punch. Okay. It's up. Ooh. Yeah, I think if I run out of energy, I die. Uh, it's tough because you can only you can only hit these things if they're close to you. Oh, I'm dead. I run out of energy. Enter my name for the noble nine. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of this game at the time. Um, but it is, um, it is something of a classic Acorn Soft game, and it is, it's, it's different. It's different in that you're not shooting things, um, and you know the whole idea of like physics and momentum and so on was uh, unheard of at the time. Um, so I think it was, yeah, one of the few early games that kind of did some kind of physics simulation in that respect. But yeah, not, a, not an easy game to play. <laughs> 